How's it guys, Manash here and today we have Sorcerer Supreme against the Axe 6 Chapter 2 Mordor boss. Now this is a fight that I haven't done in over a year now, um, so I wanted to revisit it because my roster has changed quite a bit since the last time I did it. And I tried Sorcerer Supreme because I figured she should work pretty well for this fight since she has all the utility to counter it. Um, being able to nullify, having slow, and not being able to trigger buffs besides dexterity. So I figured all that stuff should make her good. But she does have a few other things that make the fight so much easier with her, such as being able to regen, um, especially if you're going to block a lot. And the passive power gain along with the power steal when you have the purple blessing active, which does make special delivery a lot easier to deal with. And Sorcerer is a champ who relies on special attacks, and all her special attacks are pretty useful, so Hurt Locker isn't really an issue in this fight as well. You just gotta know what special attack you used last. And there's an icon which tells you. So before I start this fight, I like to use the pre-fight ability to start with Icon's Blessing. So I get the power steal to get to one bar of power but faster. And if I'm quick enough, I can throw a special one and apply a slow debuff before the blessing ends. In this fight, I wasn't fast enough, so I applied an armor break instead, which is fine. It just means I can't parry and then hit him with the combo just yet. So then I want to build a special three and bank the purple blessing. Sometimes you have to wait for the blessing. Um, if you have a slow debuff on him, then you can't just parry heavy to change the blessing. Then you just want to throw a special 3 when it's on Icon's Ingenuity, and yes, I know the names of the blessings now, because I have been using her quite a lot, uh, especially in Abyss lately. So I just see the names pop up quite a lot. So the orange or fury one is Sidorax Ferocity, and the blue slash armor one is Ragador's Resolve. So here he gets 3 bars of power, and what I wanted to do is wait for Sidorax Ferocity to end, then I'd be in Ragador's Resolve, and then from there I'll throw a heavy attack and go into Icon's Ingenuity. <laughs> These names are ridiculous. I mean, they sound cool and they're based on pretty interesting characters and it's all part of the lore and everything, but when it comes to explaining things in a mobile game, they just make things a bit more confusing or convoluted when I try to explain something simple, so I'm just gonna stick to what they look like. So armor, fury, power or control, and the colors of course. So I was trying to explain how I dropped my heavy attack slightly early because it dropped just before the blessing changed, because I wanted to get the control one so I could actually power steal before he throws a special 3. But fortunately he didn't throw it and I was able to power steal eventually. And even if he did throw it I would be able to survive it, you can take one special 3 from Mordo. If it was a longer fight I would try to regen more after that, because I only triggered regen 3 times in this fight so I actually didn't even heal that much. Which brings us to the next part of the strategy, because after you throw that initial special 3 you're just gonna wanna alternate between special 1 and special 2 just to avoid triggering that delayed blast from Hurt Locker. And the way things aligned for me is whenever I wanted to throw a special attack, I would almost never have the armor blessing active. Which was perfectly fine because I had over 80% health for the entire fight. So I was only placing the effects that I needed, which were the armor breaks just for more damage, and of course the slow debuff, which allows you to bypass his astral evade. But to be honest, you don't even need the slow debuff, you just need to manage his power pretty well, don't take too long to bait special attacks, you know, do it when he has just over a bar of power and then punish. Unless you have the control blessing, then you can just power steal and, you know, play a little bit more aggressively. Know when to hit him to disable the power gain, or just use a special one to nullify it. You could also hold block a lot to bait heavy attacks, and that'll give him some furies, which you can nullify for more power instead of hitting him. So now we're approaching the end of the fight, and it has gone pretty well so far. He is in assassin range, and... I have a lot of those little pink do not go gentle icons, and in order to solo this fight I would need to remove all of them, well almost all of them because each one will deal about 7000 damage. So I would have to drop about 25 heavy attacks or intercept 13 times before finishing the fight. Which I'm obviously not going to do, that is completely unnecessary here because it's the last part of the quest so I can just die with her and leave Mordo with literally one health then I can use pretty much any champ and just go in and sneeze on him and he'll go down. So yeah, Sorcerer is a pretty good counter for this fight, took him down to 1 health in less than 4 minutes without any boosts or synergies and with all the linked nodes. And also, it wasn't that difficult. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, I hope you guys found it interesting. If you did, you know which buttons to hit, but as always, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.